rational rows diagram window. So in the diagram window, we can view UML diagrams in, of our model. And as we make changes to elements in the diagram, rows will automatically update the browser as necessary. Let us suppose we are drawing one class diagram. So whenever we are inserting multiple different classes, then automatically in the in the left pane, in the left pane, the respective class names will get added. So what will happen if you delete some of the classes, then the class name will get deleted from the list also. And similarly, when we make changes to an element using the browser, then rows will automatically update the appropriate diagram. By doing so, rows helps us maintain a consistent model. So if you do any kind of changes in the browser window, then the things will get reflected in the respective diagram window and vice versa. So that means this particular rows will help us to have our diagrams in a consistent way. So here we are having this diagram window. So here you see, here we have selected this component diagram, different nodes are there. And here we can select different, this is the class diagram actually, this is the class diagram it is showing. So here we can attach some different nodes with the different classes and whenever this class diagram will be selected, then in the toolbox, the respective class diagram related icons will be coming, they can be dragged here and you can, you can make your diagram ready. So in the case study number one, that is the ATM transaction, we have shown that how this rational row software can be used for this UML diagram making. Please watch that, uh, those videos for the better understanding. So here we have discussed that what is the purpose of the diagram window and how the browser window, the browser window and the diagram window will always remain consistent. Whatever the changes you are making on the browser window or on the dialog window, the things will get reflected on the other window. So this is the purpose of this. This is the diagram window. Thanks for watching this video.